Welcome back. You're watching Worldview India. Kuwait has been key to both the Gulf Wars. The first one, of course, happened because Kuwait had been invaded. In the second, which is actually invasion of Saddam Hussein, Kuwait was a key base for the coalition forces. Our correspondent, Mohammed Ahmed Kazmi, spoke to the Kuwaiti Information Minister, Mohammed Abbas Abul Hassan, about Kuwait, about post war Iraq, and the region as a whole. Here are excerpts. Welcome, Mr. Minister, to Worldview India. Welcome to you and your team. Uh, how do you see the future of Kuwait Iraq relations? Could you? Uh, enlighten me well, more on always, that. always we had good relation, except during the period of the Saddam Hussein regime. Uh, historically, Iraq, I mean, enjoyed excellent brotherly relation, mutual interest, uh, spreaded all over. I mean, the area uh, between Kuwait and Iraq. Uh, commercial interest, uh, family interest, social interest, political interest. The only period where all these has been shattered and destroyed was when the Ba'ath regime, headed by Saddam Hussein, I mean, tried to aggress upon their neighbor. And their goal was, as, wa as it was clear, it was not only Kuwait. Uh, the, their goal was to, uh, I mean, dominate and to hegemonize the whole uh, Gulf uh, region uh, to achieve uh, a crazy mood in the mentality of Saddam Hussein and his Ba'ath uh, leadership. All the Kuwaiti people, they are victim as the Iraqi people. Therefore, we know well the agony which the Iraqi people now going through. We remember well after seven months of liberation and when Kuwait was liberated, it took us a few months to go back to the normality in Kuwait after seven months of occupation. Imagine, after 35 years of suppression, dictatorship, uh, torturing, the suffering of all kind, which has been uh, I mean, uh, uh, put on the Iraqi people, they will need time. It's not an easy process. There is a revenge, there is a bitterness, there is a fear still as far as Saddam Hussein is free, his cliques still around, <coughs> that he might, or some of his element might revive their presence. Therefore, the lack of security, we understand it well. You see, uh, recently in Baghdad, uh, Jordan Embassy was attacked. In Basra, some incidents have taken place, which indicates Iraqis are not very happy with Kuwait. How Kuwait is going to handle this humanitarian kind of situation? I How cannot see, I cannot see, actually, I cannot see any relation between what happened against Ira uh, Jordanian embassy or these uh, sporadic incidents in Basra, that it is, uh, 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 it has a relation with Kuwait or it is an expression of dissatisfaction with Kuwait. Uh, if you are citing two unrelated example. We could give you hundreds and hundreds of examples of how the Iraqi people are receiving well the Kuwaitis and the help which is given by the Kuwaiti government. Uh, don't forget that now Basra is drinking fresh water from Kuwait. Uh, we are uh, receiving a high grade, uh, not only from the people of Basra, uh, but also from Baghdad, from wherever our uh, mercy hand uh, reaches. Uh, uh, yes, there are some sporadic incidents happen there and there uh, and here. Don't forget that after all, Iraq is a nation with 22 to 23 million, I mean, inhabitants. And you, I mean, within this huge number, you ought to have some people whom will express, uh, I mean, their dissatisfaction uh, with this. Uh, attitude or with the other attitude. But whether this, if you ask me whether this is a phenomena, I tell you by far it is not a phenomena. India and Kuwait had been uh, good friends together for years, for decades. Uh, what the two countries can do together for strengthening their bilateral relations, could you please explain what, well, what are the sure areas? We are very proud that the relation between Kuwait and India, it is a historical relation. It is not a relation uh, of the last uh, 20 or 30 or 50 years. It is much, much deeper 
uh, than that in the Kuwait history. This one. The second thing, the relation between Kuwait and India does not limit itself in just a, a political understanding for the problems uh, or the exchange of support for certain international issue or regional issue. It is not only an exchange in a trade in commodities between uh, Kuwait and India. It is much more than that. It is the sharing of the Kuwaiti wealth by the Indian community and the sacrifice by the Indian community to come and to help in building Kuwaiti and in participating in the Kuwaiti plans for development. Uh, since 1950, since Kuwait was uh, in, in, the, in, in its earlier stage of development, India's hand in all kinds of sectors were very present. Doctors were from India, uh, engineers were from India, uh, some high of uh, highly qualified uh, civil servants were from India. The system of banking were done by India in the 1950s. Uh, therefore, we have a rich tradition of strong relationship. Because there is a determination of improving the relation, because there is no official or even private uh, problems which prevent the improvement of the relation, the sky is the limit for the, for the relation between Kuwait and India. Thank you very much for sparing time for Worldview India. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Thank you. Thank you.